You go ditch us, you go to fucking Kamala. Or ditch us. To not go to Kamala. There was a fucking line, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, it's, it's like a hot nice. spot, dude. It was fucking crazy. Is it on right now? Yeah, we're good. We're like, oh, let me turn. It's, uh, I think May 5th is the night that Ryan and, um, Garrett are roasting, and then the 6th is the night that I'm roasting the winner of that. Okay. You won one of these before? No, I mean, I don't really know why he's... Who's, uh, putting it on? Phillies. Jo no. Joseph Callis. Uh, wait a second. Is he doing it? Is he roasting? I don't know. He might just be hosting it. You get a good master of ceremonies. All right, I got a bunch of stuff written down. First of all, Ben Shapiro's sister's tits. Yeah. I looked online, I couldn't find them. Really? I mean, I found her, <laughs> and I want to see her tits now. <laughs> Does she have big knockers? She's got big knockers. I She's don't know really much high. about Ben Shapiro's family. So. I, uh, I think I originated it. She's got this. some honkers, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude, I'm down. Some some just because she's Kazar milkers, too. <laughs> I was, on a, I was on a train one time, man, and I was fucking, uh, and I started talking to this fucking girl. She was really young. She was really cute. And I found out she was the daughter of a nurse I hated. <laughs> she snitched on me one time for reading during my shift. And so I fucking took her home. It took like two weeks or something, but I fucked her. <laughs> I better because it was the nurse's daughter. What it was were the you nurse's reading? daughter. Oh, okay, because that could, that could answer. This is when I was as well read as him, but I don't want to read anymore. That's for nerds. It's a vomit or something. Yeah, like uh, Don DeLillo. I think it was into Don DeLillo. Nice. Who isn't, dude? Who isn't? Gabe? Yeah. Do you know who that is? I don't, I'm not, I don't do much reading. Mm -hmm. yeah, dude, I don't like, the, the guy that works at the local bookstore, I think he used to, he had a Don DeLillo tattoo. <laughs> oh, God. A shit. whole man in the sea tattoo and like a Murakami tattoo. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. He's ride or die for real, though. Dude, dude. that must have been in book life, been, dude. Must have been in jail for plagiarism. <laughs> but anyways, I want a titty fucker. Mostly because it's Ben Shapiro's sister. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. I watch it. Tits? We're on board. Yeah. What do their nipples look like? They're uh, proportionally <laughs> really, I mean, were they tiny nipples? Like, because you see those big titties. It's been a while. Nipples. I can't. I don't want to see the public, dude. The marvelous Mr. Fake News. <laughs> well, we gotta get these pictures, man. How the fuck did that get scrubbed off the internet? But I guess you're a powerful man. You didn't He's know how to get files powerful. on your laptop, so I don't think that uh, you, you might, the best your search That's might a not, good point. I'm not exactly the Indiana Jones. Did you just finding. Google Ben Shapiro's <laughs> yes. sister's Why Dude. did you at least get her name and then, like, <laughs> yeah, Google yeah. her name and then nudes? Then it's like a picture of her sitting on a fucking next piano singing. <laughs> I'm like, no. And I saw her tits. Because she's wearing a sweater. There's some good sweater shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stretching the back. Sounds this like a weird, like, emo band. <laughs> but you can see how Mr. Stern's daughter's tits pretty easy. All yeah. You can see the girl from Two Broke Girls, you can see her titties. Cat Dennings. Yeah, do they look like those? Oh, it's because she's got some nips. She has some big nipples. <laughs> yeah. Did she have some biggers? Was it, was it the, the areola that was big, or, or was it the projection? No, it wasn't a projection, it was just the areola. Big. That's like what I, I imagine. Mean. No, I imagine her with like tiny nipples, like the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. <laughs> I guess the only reference you've been bringing up. For because like the those past are the two. best kids that I've seen. Like you have that. Welcome well, back, show. Connor. That I've seen. Did you watch True Detective season one? Yeah. Even better than the Dario, whatever Alexandra Dario. Who was that? I don't know. I think she hooked up with Woody Harrelson's character. Did Daria, that old cartoon in the 90s? Oh, uh, they're making a movie of that. I'm just kidding. They're making a movie of that. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? Why? Yeah, Live action? Do you guess? I give you, I give you one guess who's playing it. Um, Aubrey Plaza. Janine Garofalo. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, that's basically who yeah. she is. Yeah, basically. Her whole career, she's, she's got a very Michael Sarah thing going. Yeah. Her, it just is the same. And that Asian chick, who's that fucking, there's some Asian chick that calls herself Aquafina. Yeah, oh, stole Aquafina? Her whole, stole her whole act from Hannah Montana. What? Her whole fucking act is fucking Miley Cyrus really? trying to do comedy. Miley Cyrus tries to do comedy, she's like, oh. that, all that fucking like, 
mugging yeah, for the camera stuff. A little bit of her SNL. Yeah, dude. Movie. And you're like, holy shit, is that Miley Cyrus? <laughs> dude, she's <laughs> talented. What the fuck? Which Miley? one? Miley? Yeah. Oh, she's the best. She's she's the best. I have a whole bit about how I want to, how I want to marry her, and some people think I'm being ironic. <laughs> People think I'm being ironic when I talk about my love for Joy Behar. Oh, hey, man. Well, we, don't, we should switch to different... No, wait. We should stick to topics because these are only 20 minutes long. Yeah. Did you guys hear Notre Dame burn down? Notre Dame. Have, that's not a setup. I don't have a joke for that yet. I, uh... Yeah. yeah. yeah I feel like I got some America. America. I thought it was the university. Me it too. Out, Me too. It turns out it's, it's the cathedral. Uh, it, it's even goofier thinking about it because like the cathedral's in Paris, but Notre Dame's mascot is the Fighting Irish. <laughs> I want to. I want to. Uh, uh, I was talking. I didn't want to say his name. I was talking to this dude, old dude, on the phone just now. You guys know him, and he goes, "I don't want to say the Muslims did it." Oh, my God. <laughs> don't. <laughs> yeah, you don't, have to. <laughs> you don't have to say that. There's other options. Could be a fucking smoke. Somebody smoking a cigarette. Could burn it down. Could have been for insurance. Yeah. Could have been that hunchback. It probably yeah. just was like, enough is yeah. enough. You don't even pay this. me. <laughs> the halfback of Notre Dame. Okay, well, Notre Dame, that was interesting. <laughs> Okay. All right, we're halfway through the topics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay, Ben Shapiro's titties. Oh, wait a second. No, I, I, still want to talk about I would, I would look at those pictures. Yeah, I want to fuck her. She's got short black hair. She's got a nose. I don't want to call her a Jewish nose. You don't have to. You don't have to call Just like the Muslim thing? Just, just like the Muslim thing. Yeah. Um, I think he's gay. I think Ben Shapiro's gay. He's married, dude, with children. Oh, yeah. I guess that's... What does his wife look like? I looked her up. Have you ever seen Barbara Bush? Yeah. No, know. short hair, flat chest. Just like, just like a woman. Yeah. Yeah. She's all know. like fat and ugly, like that's his wife. His mommy. I don't know what any politician's wives look like. I just no. realized that. Not even Michelle Obama. I know what Michelle Obama no, looks like. Is. Those conspiracy videos oh. about her being a man oh, are the yeah. funniest, dude. Oh, okay. Them just trying to portray that seriously, but it just sounds yeah. like they're making jokes and doing bits yeah. the whole I time. I saw it's that. so funny. And then I saw somebody else had a meme of uh, Melania Trump with a dick, and I went, finally somebody else fucking sees her like I do. <laughs> that looks like a man. Really? Especially if she has sunglasses on. <coughs> you don't think she looks like a man? No. She kind of looks like Tom Brady when she has sunglasses on. <laughs> when she has Uggs and it's just like kissing her son. Yeah, I think just like well, the thing is, is, Ben Shapiro had a book, right? And it was a really awful book. And one thing it lacked is a lot of detail, because he's a bad writer. But the only time he wrote a lot of detail is when he was describing like really macho dudes. Well, that's just he would go into these deep physical descriptions of like their chests and their <laughs> muscles and stuff. But that's it. And their Everything. attitude. What was the like? Was it fiction? Yeah, it was some kind of political. Yeah, it was like, terrible. Yeah, they like yeah. made fun of it on Chapo Trap House. Yeah. They went like chapter by chapter, just like take yeah. the worst parts of it. You see, that's all I know about it. I don't want to steal from Chapo yeah. Trap House, but that's, that's basically what they yeah, yeah. listen to. Well, then I didn't listen to your Ari Shafir thing yet, so I started to, but that shit is I so to funny. The intro. Yeah, I would once you get to the intro, I would skip like. 10 minutes or so of him just kind of explaining everything on the stage because you just basically heard it. Uh. Like, they, they take a minute to get everything set up once it starts recording, but that shit is so funny. I think Ben Shapiro's a little gay. I can, I can agree with that. You know who this guy is? I know who Ben Shapiro okay, is. Okay, good. Alright. Just want to make sure. <laughs> and that, I mean, you know, politicians... You know, plenty of people have been thing, married man. and had kids and been total gays. Oh, I forgot to tell you the premise of the show. Gay. <laughs> totally gay. Total gay, dude. Especially if they hate gay. Especially if they're weird about gay people. Um, I forgot. This is called the end time support group because uh, uh, I'm panicked that the world's uh, the apocalypse is coming in 12 years. The I cannibal apocalypse. You're not worried? Cannibals? You're not worried? Think it's gonna be cannibalism? Oh, I imagine mm -hmm. at some point someone's gonna have to eat somebody. 
That's a good point. I mean, if they want to live. I don't really actually. I don't even have a problem with that playing. part. I don't really have a problem with that part. It's the heat. I can't stand the heat. Get out the kitchen, dude. The humidity. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not worried. I mean, I'll probably be dead within 50 years, so I don't plan on. No, this is gonna too. happen. This is gonna start happening in 12 years. In 12 years? Oh. That's what everybody used to say. In your prime, dude. You can't really say that anymore. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll just kill myself before <laughs> I have to. Really? I thought there'd be like panic in the streets. And I'm gonna shit. wait for my mom and dad to die, and then I'll kill myself. I got about 20 years till dementia kicks in, so I'm gonna fucking. Uh, I'll probably pull my. Does that run in your family? No, but I uh, not that I know of. I do Sudoku, know dude. Family. You'll be good. But I used to do. Yeah, so I tried. Play to crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever been to Luminosity? <laughs> <laughs> Luminosity. What? It's like it's literally a whole website for like brain training and oh, you just really? like do a yeah. I should probably do that. Yeah, you if you it? listen to enough NPR, you learn yeah. about some shit. Oh uh, yeah, it's it's. Pretty oh. Cool. I think it would be. Oh wait a second. Yeah, they're a sponsor. Yeah. I do listen to NPR. I heard, heard a whole like documentary about Alex Jones' his high school years. That sounds awesome. <laughs> it was. I haven't heard that, but I'm going to try it. Awesome. He's told a story about how, he told a story about how his parents had to move out of his high school because he outed like a cop for selling drugs. <laughs> And like in front of the whole school, he goes, "You, I saw you at a party and you were selling drugs, and now you're here to tell us about dare. How dare you? You know?" And then, then like, uh, no, that's not what happened. What happened was this: he liked this girl, and this other kid fucked this girl, so he snuck up behind the guy and fucking bashed his head against the wall, and the guy was in a coma. Jesus Christ! And then he went to a party afterwards, and then that guy's friends jumped him at a party. Jumped Alex? Mm hmm. Okay, well, that's good. Have you seen, I don't know how recent, but I've, I recently saw a video of like Alex Jones leaving some restaurant. Oh, yeah. And I, I guess that. somebody like shouted something out oh, at him. shit's funny, man. And he wasn't willing to walk away, no. of course, and so it's just him. So the one where he was like flipping him off, I think. I think so, yeah. yeah. He's like literally walking yeah, yeah. out and then just stops and just starts <laughs> screaming back at people. Yeah, he saw the camera and he just fucking turns so it on. I feel so bad for his family. Dude. They just had to wait in the car for like 50 minutes. I think he's like recently divorced. Or yeah, like I mean, the past has, two years or something. Yeah, well, family's good for not them. They got out of yeah. there. Family's not his thing, man. When you're fucking taking on the system like he does, yeah, you yeah, can't have exactly. things like family. It's like heat. You gotta be a little more. It's like that movie Heat, man. You gotta be ready to walk away <laughs> at any moment. You know what I mean? When you feel the heat coming. Maybe out. he's a CIA operative. Uh, <laughs> he has kids and a wife. He certainly like. does their work for him. Hey, uh, but uh, <laughs> but uh, dude, did you ever see the video of Alex Jones when he's like? Uh, when one of his fans came up and approached him? I don't think so. This shit's fucking funny. This guy had a, was talking about a SoundCloud page and shit, and he looked all methed out. He looked like this white trash, like, rapper kid. Um, yeah. And then uh, Alex Jones was with Milo. Then he's like, uh, yeah, uh, I got his beer. I gotta go. Uh, was that the Connor O'Malley thing? Who's Connor like O'Malley? A prank. He's a A.D. Bryant's husband. Maybe the funniest person right now, but he like pranked Alex Jones, and like he walked up to him as a fan or something. And did what? Like, well, I don't remember. Two coffee at him? Well, he's like, no. He asked him if he knew about some conspiracy that he made up, so, like just for the video. Uh, it's like, I don't know, man, but I'll look it up. It's like, thank you, Alex. Thank you. Oh, uh, this kid was trying to get Alex to check out his page or something like that. I don't know. He had some SoundCloud account. Oh, really? He's like, I make rock and music or something like that. I can't remember. But uh, he got freaked out. Okay, so we covered Ben Shapiro's sister's titties. We all want to titty frog Ben Shapiro's sister. I really wish, I think that she should just release her nude shots so I can jack off to them. I need to find out where she lives, though. Jesus Christ. They're also going to be jacking off to the thought of Ben Shapiro being like, man, people are jacking off to my sister's titties. Yeah, he never learns her name. He's always like, dude, I'm fucking Ben Shapiro's sister. Like, he's just in bed. He's like, you take Ben Shapiro's sister, you take it. Okay, hey man, remember how I told you about Cardi B, uh, uh, drug the dude, robbed him, and then found out that, that he found a used condo on the ground, and you were like, that's awesome. Yeah. I said something similar to that on Facebook, and this lady freaked the fuck out. Of course. About it. But you know what, she's kind of right, because hold on. First of all, I would rather Ben Shapiro's sister than Cardi B. <laughs> Cardi B is still pretty hot. My problem is, is that I'm not awake during it. 
Yeah, it's weird. I thought I thought it happened while they were awake, and then she drugged them. Yeah, that would be more. That would be like that's capitalism. Something. You know? Yeah, exactly. That's like that's like when someone overcharges you, and then you don't bother to follow up on it. It's like she didn't order the like surf and turf, so yeah, I didn't. She can that. steal like a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, they did that she too. Put out. Out. I didn't order the hummus. I ate the hummus, but exactly. I didn't order it. And they're like, well, "We'll give you a comedian's discount." What's that? I don't fucking. They charge you a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they let me sleep on their couch. Get fifty cents off for each laugh. Mm. Cool. No, no, we laugh at that show. We'll go to your shows and heckle you if you step on us. Yeah, yeah they, 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 it was a whole thing about how uh, about how that's not the same as Bill Cosby raping. I was like, no, but I mean, the, then this lady's like, I'd rather be uh, robbed than uh, raped. And I was like, raped by who? Because I haven't robbed her before. That bothers me to this day. I'm fucking still angry about it. I got jumped by four guys. They took 20 bucks and my pride. That sucks. <laughs> now I had another girl try to try to rape me. Like I, she wanted to fuck me one time, right? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and I was really young, and uh, I was very inexperienced about sex, so I would, I would insist on wearing condoms. And she's like, "You don't have to wear condoms." I was like, "But I don't want to get." Pregnant. Anyways, <laughs> her, and she goes, "I have AIDS when I'm fucking her." What? Yeah, she was drunk. She goes, "I have AIDS," and I got mad. And I was like, "Okay, I don't want to fuck you anymore." She's like, "I was just kidding." I was like, "Yeah, but I'm mad now." And then, uh, and then she it's tried to rape me. Place, lady. Jesus yeah. Christ. That was the crowd. Yeah, but yeah. Read, but, yeah. read the room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then the next day, my friend's like, you should just let her. And then I was like, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, was she bleeding, dude? I don't know. But, uh, what do you mean? Was she bleeding? What do you yeah. mean? Was that how you get the AIDS? Oh. Uh, no, you get it from. Uh, if you have cuts. No, you get it from penis. the asshole. Yeah, you get it from butt juices and vaginal butt fluids. Juice. And, uh, and, um, yeah, stuff like Being that. Gay. My point, and then I pointed this out, and this lady got fucking angry about it. I was like, I'm just saying, being raped by Cardi B is not that bad, but being robbed by Cardi B is fucking pretty awful. That's pretty embarrassing. Yeah, as long as, you know, she didn't, like, give you AIDS or something like that. And there was a condom, so that's not even an option. Oh, you yeah. Look at that. I wonder if that yeah. dude was making that up, but whatever. Yeah, that story went away. Story. He's like, but she did fuck me while I was passed <laughs> out. He named all the stuff that she stole, and then and then the condom, and then, then she's like, oh well, then that's awful. Awesome. Hey, he, he had like two thousand dollars worth of fucking gear stolen. I think that's probably the awful part. Yeah, I would say that's the worst part of it for sure. I was like, men and women are different. Blah blah blah. Whatever. No, they're not. I don't know what they were mad about, but they were fucking pissed. This chick hated me. All right, well, it's 1741, 42. You want to start a new segment? Yeah. I'm almost, we got to talk about that face that dude on Facebook. The 420 comic guy? Got, no, no, no. The other dude. Luther? Yeah. You got to tell him about it.